I need you to do me a huge favor. On three, beast mode. One, two, three. Rich people don't waste time. They realize it's their most important commodity. They don't watch a lot of TV. They don't do a lot of entertainment. If they're not working, they're studying their craft and getting better at their craft. So I need you to stop having the poverty mindset. So when I quit my job to be an entrepreneur, my mom was like, whoa, what are you doing? I was like, I'm quit. My mom was like, don't you dare quit. You're going to embarrass me. You got a wife and kids. Does YouTube have insurance? Does YouTube have a 401k? And I was like, yo, ma, I ain't trying to be funny and I ain't trying to be disrespectful. I love you, but you can't teach me how to be a millionaire because you're not. You come from the working class and I'm not mad at you, ma. We wouldn't be where we are without you. But you told me that every generation is supposed to get better. So I'll take your values, but I won't take your work ethic. Because rich people don't work, they think. Poor people go, clock in, I make this much an hour. Rich people go, I put them to work, and I make this much an hour. See, what happens is you're working for you and your family, one, they got 40 of you working at one time. So they're giving you 20% and then they're keeping the 80% off of 15,000 people. So what you have to decide is, are you going to keep being the 99% or are you ready to be a part of the 1%? When you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe, that's when you find a way. You have an opportunity right now. A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he putting in work. A real man, when Coach ain't even watching, he's studying film on his own. Season, he loves the process. Because real lions like to hunt. They love the process just as much as they love the pride. You will be a champion. You will be a beast. You're going to have to go through something. Life is not a permanent condition. And crisis is a human description. It's just a season. This is important. And the key to life is outlasting the season. The key to life is outlasting the season. If you can stay warm long enough, summer will come. In other words, the season for you to leave the job you are on has come. Why? There's a better one up ahead. He got to prepare you for that. So we got to close out one chapter to open a bigger chapter. Get ready for something big, 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 bigger than what you had. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you or will you let it redefine you? Seasons of crisis. Everybody say it with me. Overcoming seasons of crisis. That no one can do it for you but you. And even though you face disappointments, even though you will experience some setbacks, it goes with the territory. You must understand that. Life has taught me that you will grow through what you go through. Life has taught me for every level, there's another devil. Life has taught me that the depth of your struggle will determine the height of your success. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you or will you let it redefine you? And hear me, everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. Everybody wants something in life. But many of you in this room right now, your beast mode is idle. Your beast mode is not turned on. And when you leave this place, I'm telling you, your life is going to go to a whole other level if you can learn to turn that switch on and keep that switch on. I need you to recycle your family. I want you to recycle your pain. Now, many of you, when you get this water bottle, you might be thinking this is the first time that this, this is the very first time this particular plastic was formed. And we don't know, this, this could have come from anyone. Right, so you gotta do me a huge favor. Because what you're gonna discover as you're going towards your dream, as you're going towards your goal, they're gonna be there. And there's so many distractions. 
There's going to be so many people that are haters, so many people that come up against you, so many obstacles, so many trials, so many tribulations. When people ask me, E.T., like for real, for real, E., I know you can give me 20 things that you've done to help yourself to become successful. But E.T., I just need like one or two. Can you give me one or two? And one of the things I tell people is I outlasted the pain. I outlasted the pain. When I was sleeping in those abandoned buildings, I kept telling myself, one day you'll be a homeowner. Every time I walked into that abandoned building, I told myself that this might be your current circumstances, but this will not be how the story ends. All you have to do, E.T., is to survive today. To survive today. When they kicked me out of school, I knew that I would not be a high school dropout for the rest of my life. I knew I got to get through this one day. Every single day when I woke up in that abandoned building, one day, one day is going to be ET's day, but that day can't come if I give up today. Soon it will be my day and I will recycle my pain. When I didn't grow up with my biological father, he wasn't into my, in my life until I was 30 years old, but I told myself today, your father is not in your life, but one day, My mom and I have gone months and almost years of not talking to each other, but every single day I kept telling myself, one day I'll have a, a great relationship with my mom. One day. What will you do with your pain? Will you let it break you or will you let it redefine you? I outlasted the pain. I outlasted the pain. On three, beast mode. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three.